if you stop a rat from sleeping for just two weeks, it will develop diabetes. Because it's, it's really important. So I, I don't think there's any argument that sleep is important. But can you hack your way around it? Maybe that's what I'm showing. But wait, isn't sleep super important to longevity? Like <laughs> at, oh. as we age. Okay, so here's some notions that I bring to this, right? Like my baggage with sleep is like, as we age, we tend to sleep less. And everything that I know about sleep tends to tell me that sleep is super important for mental functioning, for age, aging well, for um all of these like health benefits associated with sleep. And you're telling me you get four or five hours and you're 52 and you have a 20 year old biological <laughs> clock. So maybe sleep isn't yeah. that important. Um, maybe, maybe I, I'm, I might be 15 years old if I could get more sleep, but uh, we will never know. But I, 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 what I know is that those sirtuin genes that I talk about all the time, and I've been studying for 30 years, they control the clock. And then a disrupted clock affects them because it's a big cycle. And if you get that out of whack in an animal, they will, if you don't let them sleep, they will age prematurely. If you stop a rat from sleeping for just two weeks, it will develop diabetes. It's, it's really important. So I, I don't think there's any argument that sleep is important. But can you hack your way around it? Maybe that's what I'm showing. But I don't want to give the impression that I think that that's yeah. the best way to live life. I mean, I got I got up at five thirty this morning. I went to sleep probably at one o'clock. Um, that's not a good way to live. I I am tired. Um, I I do fine. I've got caffeine. I've got my NAD boosters, which do help me get through the day in the morning. But ideally, I would want more sleep. I think I'd have better memory and focus if I did that. There are two hacks that I'm doing that allow me to get away with less sleep now. Um, I've included meditation at night into my daily life most days. Um, and that's been very helpful. Um, and the second is that I have a bed that reduces my body temperature in the middle of the night and I get deeper sleep, which also seems to help. Are you using an eight sleep? I am. Yeah. Uh, what's your setting profile on that? I use one too. What's your, what's your, do you, do, do you do warm, cold, warm, or are you like cool, cold, warm? Like, how do you set that up? Depends on the season. Um, I mean, winter now in Boston, which is my my apartment's very cold, but so I, these days I, I I start out a bit warmer than usual. But what I normally do would say uh, I get into a coolish bed, and then the next stage is drop me down lower and lower, and then half an hour before waking up, it'll shoot up to um, as warm as I can handle it. But yeah, I, I like to drop the temperature down, and I, I sleep better that way. So coming into this conversation, one of the notions that I had is one of the reasons that we we tend to age or accelerate aging as we get older is that we tend to sleep less. And I guess that's not the case, right? Because I always thought, oh, like, you know, I see this with my parents right now, right? Like they're sleeping less than they used to. And I just assumed that that was part of aging, but also what accelerated our aging. Yeah. I think you're right. And and that's the problem. Once you start like getting less sleep, you will age and your age will give you less sleep. And that's why it's important to to maintain that that, you know, sleep health. And uh, but, you know, NMN, which is this NAD boosting molecule that I mentioned earlier, that is part of the sleep wake cycle. And one of the hacks that I, I, I think is is really beneficial is that by taking NMN in the morning, I'm simulating or st stimulating the morning response and I get the alertness and the energy that I would have had uh, if I'd had more sleep and I can reset jet lag. You know, I, I'm a scientist, so people might say, David, you can't mention anecdotes, but I'm going to do it anyway. I haven't had jet lag for a decade because I've been able to modulate my own uh, body clock by using these chemicals, which, as I mentioned, um, are activating sirtuins and controlling the clock. Now, most people don't know that, but um, I think if, if you uh, have paid attention to the kind of things that I'm saying out there, uh, you would know that um, it is possible to hack the clock.